it's Teresa, the Smoking Hot Cigar Chick. I'm here at Zycar headquarters with Kurt Van Keppel, and today we're going to discover what it means to have a perfect cut. And you really are the original when it comes to cuts. Can you tell me more about original, where Zycar came from, your background, your history as a company? Sure, and welcome to Zycar, Teresa. Oh, I'm delighted to have you. My honor, thank we, you. Yes, in fact, we started the company with this cigar cutter. Mm -hmm. uh, I had gone out to look for a, to buy a cigar cutter, and saw the traditional double guillotine with the two finger holes that um, literally you have to pick up, put on your fingers, then pick up your cigar, clip your cigar. You know, it's very awkward, not to mention that that extension of your fingers also doesn't necessarily provide the best and fastest cut. So I went to my friend, Scott Olmsberger, who's an industrial designer, and said to him, say, I'd like to have a cigar cutter that's got a pivot point, just like scissors, with the leverage from that pivot point to give a good, strong, this is called a push cut, by the way, as okay. opposed to a slice. And that's a, this design, this drawing, is in fact exactly what he showed us, or he showed me. Turns out that that's the classic designer-client relationship, where the client says, I have a problem, here's the problem, here's what I think I want as a solution, or the designer suggests something and then comes up with the shape and the design. So the, the initial drawings of the Zycar XI cutter look just like this. That's beautiful. And the way it works is much like a scissors, except from the standpoint you've got the two blades, but it's a pull-down handle with a palm grip squeeze, clips the cigar right into your palm, then you just put down the cutter, throw your clippings, and light your cigar. Oh, that's so natural. I'm glad you said it too, because I know when I first started smoking and cutting my own cigars, I had a hard time with the control of the guillotine. To me, the two handles were not comfortable for me. I mean, you know I'm a very much a scissors girl, so I like that scissor kind of right. mechanism. It, it feels more natural. It does give a lot more control, a lot more precision to the cut. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that that push cut with the palm grip squeeze off that lever point is much stronger and easier, frankly, to execute than uh, an extension of your fingers. So what we're talking about here is a guillotine cut still, correct? Yes. What other type of cuts are there? Well, you know, there's uh, the traditional guillotine, which we made with the um, Zycar shape. And you also have the old-fashioned shape. This is a new model of ours, and that's what I referred to earlier, the two fingers. Some people are more comfortable with this style. Mm -hmm. So we've got the traditional guillotine that cuts almost the entire diameter of the cigar, revealing the true performance of the cigar roller's uh, work. So the advantage of this style cut is that you get the true performance of the cigar roll, you get the true characteristic of the draw of that particular cigar. Right. It's going to be a big draw. Nice it'll, even draw. Bigger, it'll be the draw that the cigar roller created when they re rolled the cigar. Okay, and, okay. and the best rollers create a nice, tight, but smooth and even draw. And so that is what will be revealed by that type. Now, there's also the punch cut. Others prefer to have a tighter draw at all times, mm -hmm. and that's what this punch cut provides. And the way the punch cut works is you actually core the back of the cigar with the punch blade, revealing that small hole in the cap. Now, the performance of this, as I mentioned earlier, the draw is a lot tighter because it's a restricted flow. And the other thing that happens in a, in a punch cut is that the oils of the cigar start to build up around the lip of the cut. Mm -hmm. and will concentrate there and give a much bigger nicotine impact towards the end or towards the finish of the cigar. Mm -hmm. So that's something that's unique to the punch as it is to the old-fashioned V-cut. Oh, the V-cut, yes. Which is what we have here. Now this is an item that we just introduced this year at the show. This is a reverse blade V. Instead of having a piercing point, it has a slice action because the V cut is reversed and it gives a much, much better cut. You can see that it's very oh, it's flawless. clean and flawless. I mean, I used to, uh, V cut used to be one of my preferences until I got so frustrated with my with my cutter. It would, you know, it would dull so quickly, it would start to mesh up my cigar, and just out of frustration, I got out of the habit of doing that. I would go to a punch or a guillotine. Right. So it's been, for me, I'm excited because now I can actually get back into that V cut without having to worry about it yeah. anymore. And as you can see, it's a beautiful clean cut and will cut up to even a 60 gauge cigar. Beautiful. Yeah, there's nothing more frustrating than having a cut destroy your beautiful, beautiful cigar. Right. Limited edition age, what have you, something special. And frankly, sometimes what happens when you cut a cigar is you may not get the cut that you wanted. In introducing the scissors, which mm -hmm. makes a very clean, very sharp cut 
that you have a lot of control over. Absolutely. So with the scissors, you can you can clean up a cut made by a different cutter, or you've got your ultimate control in your cuts. And uh, then finally, with this particular Zycar scissors, it folds up into a very small, compact keychain size that I, I always carry on my keychain, so I'm never without a cigar cutter. I'm part of the cult, so I have to also say one of my favorite things is the multi-tool. Well, thanks for saying so. Yeah, we included in, in the um, scissors itself, because it had room for tools, we have a torch valve bleeder. I'm sorry, the torch valve bleeder is here, that mm -hmm. pointer. This is a flame adjuster. And then on the other side, we've got a bottle cap puller with a little screwdriver tip on the end. And then finally, a nail puller with a box opener on this side right there. And what the way that works is we angled that tip to be just enough blade to cut the paper of a box and then lift the um, nail. I didn't even know that. You know that? I have this every single day. I didn't know I'm about so that. I'm so glad you came to learn that. <laughs> so there's that product. And then to fold this product, you just hold the blades in one hand and fold the handles around it, and you're done. Which is a fun show off piece. My friends always like, like, what is this contraption? I have to have one of those. It's, it's so cool. cool. <laughs> so, would you like to uh, see how we use each product and how we cut a cigar with each? Please, I'd like to see it in action. Okay, great. As I mentioned earlier, the um, original XI cutter is a palm grip squeeze. So you pull down the button, the blades pop open. Now, every cigar cut is a cut that, you, whenever you cut a cigar, you want to press the blades of the cutter into the cigar slightly. Mm -hmm. And that prevents crowning of the, um, of the cigar. And then you just give it an authoritative squeeze. The clippings have dropped right into your palm. You put down your cutter. Clipping goes in the ashtray and you're ready to light. And having used these, it's a very simple, quick action too. It doesn't take any force. It's just kind of a... That's right. It's just open, squeeze closed, mm -hmm. cut cigar. The same is true here with this clipper. Let's see, I'll grab one that's not yet cut. I think I love cigars to smoke here, I'm excited. We'll have to smoke them all right next. Mm -hmm. So, same thing here, you measure your cut right to the edge or less of the shoulder of the cigar. And you can see here that the cap of the cigar, this is a triple cap, it's got three different caps on it. You never want to go beyond what we call the shoulder of the cigar where the cap ends. Because if you cut beyond that fine line right there, the last cap, you will unravel your cigar. Mm, so, my favorite is just about a quarter inch in. Now, notice I'm turning my hand so the clipping will fall on my hands, not the table. And gives you an ultra clean cut. Perfect. And it's sharp too. What I like is if you are not sure if you know you've heard a cigar has an easy draw, you can start with a little bit because you can always cut more. That's and right. When it's that That's precise, right. the you, blade, can... you don't have to worry about it tearing the tobacco. That's exactly right. And if in fact you need, if in fact you need more, you'll know right away by the draw. Right. So, the punch cut is, as I said earlier, it cores out the back of the cigar, and it's best to twist it a bit as you punch in. And I like to go somewhat deep and it punches a little hole in the back. And then in this particular case, just turn the screw back in, pulling the blade back in, and the clipping drops right off. All right. And then finally, the V-cut. Yes. All right, well, this is exciting uh -huh. because it's such a sharp blade. Again, I press down into the bowl of the V-cut so that I get a good clean cut and just do a clip. It's so soft, you think that you haven't done a nice cut, when in fact you've done a very nice clean cut. That's perfect. And sometimes, if I want to add more flow, I'll cut it in an X. So now I've got the cut both directions. Old like signature. There you go, a little X. I like it. So, there it is. That is the extent of the cutting devices on the market today and how to use them. Perhaps we ought to go smoke a cigar now. Let's. We've got plenty of cigars here ready to light up.